Arsenal boys, plenty of investments to be making right now in FC24. Team of the season cards, path to glory, team of the weeks, gold folder. I want to talk about everything in today's video. Drop a like, do subscribe. You do help my channel grow and let's get in the video. All right, so guys, the content we officially got today on a Monday. Brand new SBC 93 rated from Colombia. Nothing special, obviously. Basically for the card, 85 team with a team of the season or a team of the week. The 84 plus player pick. Now... This is honestly such a joke from EA Sports. An 84 team and an 83 rated team for an 84 plus player pick, one of four. If I go on footbin, you're going to see the price of this SPC, by the way, is priced around. I just dropped my phone. 84 plus player pick is priced around 26,000 coins to get one of four 84 plus rated gold cards. Honestly, what a joke. Do not complete the SPC or an absolute scam. 82 plus player pick is officially back. The grind officially begins again. If you boys don't know, you can craft unlimited 82 plus player picks. And obviously you can open them in minutes using pastels. If you haven't seen my video, I will leave it down in the comment section down below. You can get 100, 200, 300 player picks in literally 5 minutes without wasting your time. And the daily gold upgrade is officially back. A lot of people started to complain yesterday and again the day before that why did ea remove the daily gold upgrade it's basically impossible to craft spcs so that spc is officially back including daily silver daily bronze premium silver and premium bronze so guys that is the content we officially got today like i said nothing special and by the way there's two more spcs which we should be seeing in the upcoming days the first one being we have arajo from barcelona obviously euro card should be coming soon or Cop copa america card should be coming soon and Enzo Fernandez from Argentina should be getting an SBC as well. So basically, guys, two more SBCs we should be seeing soon. Arajo from Barcelona and Uruguay and Enzo from Chelsea and Argentina. Guys, I'm going to quickly run through a few investments we currently have. What you should be doing and maybe should you sell, maybe should you keep. You can see in the background, team of the seasons right now are basically 42.5 selling instant, as you can see in the background. A lot of questions. Should I sell? Should I keep? What should I sell? What should I keep? Boys, if you're happy with the profit, you can sell your investments whenever you want. In my opinion, the best time to be selling these, potentially one, two, two weeks time. Reason being, next week, probably a new promo. And obviously Saturday, what do we get Saturday? A brand new upgrade SPC. What do we see in the upgrade SPC? Team of the season requirements. And obviously there's zero supply for team of the season cards. That is why I do expect these to keep rising. However, we initially paid 19,000 coins. Obviously, right now, 42,000 coins. You are more than doubling your coins if you're happy with the profit. And obviously, if you are very, very impatient. Yes, you can probably start selling your team of the seasons if, like I said a hundred times, if you're impatient and, of course, you want to have coins to complete SBCs, to buy players, etc., then obviously, taking profit is not a bad idea. However, long term, one, two, three, one month, these cards, in my opinion, will probably go around 70 to 80,000 coins. If I do quickly go on Fubin and I go again, FIFA 23, we take a goalkeeper, 80 rated team of the season, Blake. I'm going to show you the graph. What happened to Blake as soon as he went out of packs? You can see he was around 30,000 coins. And obviously, a few weeks later, Blake went all the way to 60 thousand coins and 60k was his max price another card from fifa 23 i think it was bremer team of the seasons if i do show you the card 93 rated this card went to 115 thousand coins out of packs so like i said guys with team of the seasons there is 100 100 potential to rise more but if you're happy to profit if you're very very impatient taking profit is not a bad idea so i just want to quickly cover that obviously a lot of you have golovins Again, standways, etc. You can see in the background, like I said, 42.5 selling instant. You can sell these easily, 43, 44, 45 to lazy buyers. So guys, that is honestly the team of the season situation. I hope I've answered every single question regarding these cards. Now boys, we've talked about team of the season cards. You guys know I've told you to buy some investments for out of pack investments so i'm going to quickly run through a few investments obviously you can see in the discord i already made this post or lucky foot made a post on the six with early early information so i told you to buy kvara 86 rated at 6,000 coins in the discord and obviously on my youtube channel kvara from 6,000 coins right now is already 
7,100 coins, like I said, if you're happy with the profit, you can probably lazy list around 7.5 to 8,000 coins. This card should keep rising. Next up, we have De Jong. In the video, he was actually 8.5, and I said I would still buy a few cards, not many, but I would still buy a few. Right now, De Jong 87 rated gold card is priced around 11 thousand coins you can officially take profit on 87 rated day young we have saliba in the video he was 1.9 and i said you can probably still buy saliba at 1900 coins 83 rated saliba right now is 6700 coins so again the profit on saliba is very good yes you can take profit and boys honestly any card i suggested obviously oblak kai walker etc you can actually take your profit and invest your coins elsewhere or black from 8.5 to 15,000 coins. And obviously, Kai Walker from 3,700 coins to right now priced around 7,500 coins. Yes, boys, regarding the out of pack investments, you can 100% start taking profit. I don't think Chiesa is up in price. He must be the only card that I think is not really up in price a crazy amount. Let's have a look together. Chiesa, 84 rated. He is priced around. 4,800 coins, so basically up 300 coins, nothing really special. Just keep this card until Thursday. So that, guys, is basically the out-of-pack investments. By the way, if you do want to join the VIP Discord, you can see in the background in the photo channel, Luckyfoot made a post before the card started to get leaked. Obviously, Kavara, Chiesa, the young Oblak Walker, before the leaks, he posted. Obviously, we did buy really, really early, and you saw in the background the profit is very nice, including an evolution yesterday. Luckyfoot, he got some info that Van Dyke does fit an evolution centre-back Evo we got yesterday. And obviously from 22,000 coins, this Van Dyke went all the way to 35,000 coins selling instant. And by the way, if I do go on Footbin, I think Footbin Graph will show you how good this Van Dyke actually did in the hype. And then of course he dropped back down after people started to sell. But you can see yesterday from 22,000 coins when we initially bought all the way to, well Footbin says 30,000 coins, but that is wrong. As you can see in the picture, they were selling at 33, 33, 31.5. So again, if you boys do want to join the VIP Discord, the link will be down in the pinned comments. You can see the feedback channel. People are making 1 mil, 2 mil, 500k, 700k. You basically join, you check the investment channel, you buy the cards, we post. And of course, in the sell card channel, we do tell you exactly when to buy, when to sell. All you boys have to do is have your Discord notifications on. Let's get back to the video. Talk about a few final investments you still can make, including some gold now boys talking about path to glory live cards in my opinion i haven't heard any information about a team to path to glory on friday which means this will be the only live path to glory team to actually trade with so there's going to be a few questions which again most of you are going to be asking number one when should we be buying some investments going into the euros and number two should we buy right now or maybe should i buy thursday with division rival rewards Boys, I think it was yesterday or the day before. If I do go on Twitter, click X on that, and we actually do search up 525k pack, you're gonna see there was a pack in the store which gave out basically a guaranteed Ruben Diaz, guaranteed again Petit Kvara, such such good pack weight. And unfortunately, you can see another Diaz. Unfortunately, the pack actually got removed another d as you can see right there and the pack actually did get removed so boys honestly what i will suggest is the following thing wait until we see another similar pack in the store either a 650k pack or a 525k pack or a 750k pack i think there's at least one more decent pack that should be dropping soon and obviously after the pack comes out that is when i think you boys should be again buying and investing into these cards right now Cards are actually up in price. For example, Saliba. Last night, this card was actually 1.5 million. You can see hourly yesterday. He was around 1, actually dropped all the way to 1.48, rebounded all the way to 1.77. So most of them have rebounded already. Saka was 1.7, I think. So if I show you right now, PC hourly yesterday. Saka, actually, yeah, 1.7. You can see 1.7 right here. Saka is basically up nearly 400 thousand coins so in my opinion buying right now would not make sense as the cards are very very expensive what i would do wait for a pack as soon as the pack comes out then you look for undercuts and of course you can invest your coins so that is the path to glory situations obviously basically the exact same for 
Copa America Alvarez was actually 400,000 coins right now. This card is 440 up 50k. Militao was 3.1. Militao right now is 3.6. You can see people already starting to invest their coins. But like I said, I do still think there's going to be at least one more buying opportunity. And obviously, if there's not, we're still going to buy it. As I think trading with these cards will be very, very easy. So that is Puff to Glory and Copa America investments. Like I said, I'm not buying just yet. All I'm doing is waiting for another a store pack and i want to quickly talk about fodder so 85 so i told you to buy these at 3.5 to 3.7 right now 4k like i said we have an spc refreshing every single day with an 85 rated team requirements i do still think this can easily go 4500 coins by thursday so obviously if you still want to buy a few 85s under 4k lazy list 4.4 4.5 you're going to get a bunch of sales so again 85s looking as a decent investment till thursday there's also 86s 87s and 88s in my opinion guys with the icon refresh on wednesday i don't think many people will actually complete the icon player pick there's so many better cards to actually pack that are live and obviously can get upgraded so i just don't think the demand will be there to complete the icon player pick so 85s again remains the only rating i think it's worth picking up if you're still watching this and obviously want to buy at least 50 to 60 different cards have them up for lazy sales every single hour and like i said once you do get any sales go back on the market and buy more cards and keep generating this lazy selling method and make sure step number one and the most important step sell any gold rated for that before thursday why is thursday morning division rival rewards everyone's gonna open packs to try pack a kai walker to try pack a saka to try pack any good path to glory players so obviously guys that is basically the fodder situation covered boys that is basically everything summed up in today's video fodder gold fodder i'm not a fan obviously 85s is the only rating i think you can still profit on path to glory i'm waiting for a new pack for prices to drop off a little bit then obviously you can buy for example this walker as close to 900,000 coins flat would be the ideal price but you can see he's up 120,000 coins so again i am waiting for a new pack tip of the seasons like i said it's your choice if you do want to take profit you can i still think they can rise higher the only chance they do not rise higher and drop is if ea release a tradable team of the season pack in the store or spc then obviously team of the seasons will drop but i don't really think they're going to do that so obviously team of the seasons again you can hold or maybe take profit that is your choice gold fodder like i said sell before thursday division rival rewards and obviously two leaked spcs coming soon arajo from barcelona and obviously enzo fernandez from chelsea make sure you at least wait before you complete joe gomez how good this Araho card could be so obviously if it's good priced well priced and the SPC is actually really good obviously Joe Gomez could actually be worse than Araho boys any questions comment section down below drop a like do subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video